Look at the man in Dallas. Oh, that's a man whose team had a nearly flawless draft. I mean, I want to take the Cowboys draft in between the men's and women's bathroom of LaGuardia Airport and propose to it. That's how good it was. Go ahead, Cowboys. So take a victory lap. Were the Cowboys the big winner? Uh, they were a pretty big winner. I mean, I, I think they did a great job of, of, of sitting still and, and not moving and letting C.D. Lamb fall to them and letting Diggs fall to them. Even in the fifth round, uh, you know, a guy people think, the Pac-12 – uh, defensive lineman of the year, Bradley and I, they think they could be a good player. They got one thing after another went their way. They got cornerbacks. They filled needs. And You said they, they sit still. They actually were rocking up and down, if you get where I'm going yeah, here. That's true. Yeah, that's a good point. And I was worried initially that they were in Lake Louisville and that that boat would, wouldn't really draw really well there, but they were off to the coast. Okay, thank you. So now, again, what, what is the expectation for these Cowboys after this draft? Well, the expectation, they draft well a lot. They don't win well a lot. And, <laughs> they just start doing that. and the expectation is for them to be better than you and, and to do something. And that's why these coaches are here after nine years, nine and a half years of the Jason Garrett way. They think they have players. They think they have, they have highest paid running back, highest, second highest paid defensive end and how much more. is their quarterback going to get now with this offense I mean, <laughs> would he should he hold out again oh yeah. hold it out. i mean now that you've got a 40 points per game offense you seem to think 40 is a little high but, I mean, I, I, <laughs> all right well, all right real quick just give me your facial reaction when the eagles in division drafted jalen hurts right in carson wentz's face kind of everybody's like what <laughs> uh yeah I, I think there's a lot of reasons that's a shaky pick for the Eagles. It's, you're drafting in the second round to protect when your quarterback gets hurt instead of giving your quarterback something to help him not get hurt and make more plays. All right, Mina, how big of a winner were the Cowboys? Were the Eagles then a loser with the Hurts pick? And how about the Packers, please? Yeah, I regret to inform you that I'm also on boat with the Cowboys draft. Uh -huh, not that I've never uh -huh. been on Jerry's boat, but I, I <laughs> loved it. I mean, to have CeeDee Lamb, arguably the best receiver in the draft, fall into their lap like that. Mike McCarthy uh, loves to play three wide receivers at once, 11 personnel, and now he has perhaps the best one, two, three punch in the NFL. Dak Prescott is going to put up insane numbers. That might be the only loss for them is if, you know, it affects the contract as we've been talking See, about. Uh, yeah, I think so. I wish so I too. owned him in fantasy. I wish I owned all the Cowboys in fantasy yeah. right now. Um, I will disagree with my dear colleague in Texas and say I didn't hate – the Jalen Hurts pick as much okay. as a lot of people. Look, it's really hard to quantify the value of a backup quarterback, or as the Eagles call them, a second quarterback. Um, you don't know it until you need it, right? And beyond that, I think they look at him not just as a backup to Carson Wentz, who has been hurt a fair amount, but as an asset. They can potentially flip a couple seasons down the road, maybe get a second or third back if he looks good in preseason and intermittent usage yeah. well they were able to make that pick and still get the wide receivers they needed in the wide receiver draft of all, all time yes. unlike the packers who didn't draft a wide receiver israel gutierrez no it's shocking if they continue to fail aaron Rodgers, and you know they're not going to sign anybody in free agency of any uh significance so it's just frustrating to watch uh shout out to mina there for the poppy reference with the one two three punch um <laughs> speaking of teams that could have used the quarterback right because uh, we're talking about uh we're talking about jalen hurts here and you know we just talked about Taysom hill a little bit ago and that's sort of you know an option there for you could think for jalen hurts to be that style of quarterback uh backup quarterback uh, over there in Philadelphia, but I'm wondering why Minnesota wouldn't take a flyer later in the later rounds. And I know they're, you know, they obviously just paid Kirk Cousins. They're all in for right now, but you need, I mean, Mina just talking about putting the value uh, on a backup quarterback. You need somebody there. And Sean Minion, I don't think is the answer for Minnesota. I was a little confused by that when I thought they could have taken a flyer definitely after round three or so. Mina, does this summer end? Does it ever end? Actually, let me ask you that question existentially. Are we ever going to get out? But also, does it end with Aaron Rodgers asking for a trade? <laughs> wow, we're there! I imagine yes, I'm uh, here. Aaron Rodgers was it was it Pippen who said, "I'm not going to let this f my summer up." The, uh, <laughs> I hope that was Aaron Rodgers' reaction to this. Um, I also hope, and I think the Packers hope that this will light a fire under him. He's one of the most competitive people on the planet. Look, that's what we saw with Brady when they drafted Garoppolo. He was not coming off of good play. He then came out, put up some of the best seasons of his career. I think Green Bay is hoping that happens with Rodgers as well. 
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.